now let us discuss the linear independence of a given set of functions so we begin with the definition of uh, a new term the ronskian of functions so the ronskian is a determinant so defined by suppose f1 f2 etc fn are functions which are differentiable n minus 1 times on minus infinity infinity then the ronskian of f1 f2 etc fn is denoted by w of f1 f2 etc fn and is defined to be the determinant uh, determinant the first row is f1 f2 etc fn second row is fn prime f2 prime f2 etc fn prime and etc the nth row is f n minus 1 f1 of n minus 1x f2 of n minus 1x etc f n of n minus 1x since the functions are n minus 1 times differentiable all the terms of this determinant are defined okay now suppose f is a function defined on closed interval a b if f has a continuous derivative then we say that f is continuously differentiable on a b and we write f belongs to c1 of a b that is if f is differentiable and the derivative also is continuous on the given interval then the function is said to be continuously differentiable on the given interval and it is written as f belongs to c dash of a b or c1 of a b so let us extend this definition so if you extend this to derivative of uh, this to the case where n is differentiable f is differentiable n times and all these derivatives are continuous then we say that f belongs to c n of closed interval a b f belongs to c n of a b that is if f has n continuous derivatives then f belongs to c n of a b okay so in particular uh, if it is differentiable for uh, any times differentiable or it is uh, all the derivatives exist we write it belongs to c infinity of closed interval a b and uh, you can verify that c n minus 1 minus infinity infinity is the vector space of all functions with n minus 1 continuous derivatives on minus infinity infinity that is c n minus 1 forms a vector space of functions which are differentiable n minus 1 times where the derivatives are continuous okay <clears throat> now uh, let us relate the Ronskian with the linear independence of functions. There is a theorem. Suppose f1, f2, etc. fn belongs to c n minus 1 minus infinity infinity. And assume that the Ronskian is not identically 0 on minus infinity infinity. Then the functions are linearly independent in c n minus 1 infinity minus infinity infinity. So there is a uh, spell error it's minus infinity infinity okay so uh, so it simply says that if the Ronskian is not identically equal to zero in minus infinity infinity then uh, the functions are linearly independent that means if there is at least one x for which the Ronskian is different from zero then the vectors are linearly independent so proof is simple so since f1 f2 etc fn my uh, fn are uh, from r c n r in c n minus 1 minus infinity uh, all the n minus 1 derivatives exist and the uh, ronskian is different from zero so let us consider scalars k1 k2 etc such that the linear combination sigma k1 f k1 fn plus k2 f2 plus etc plus kn fn equal to zero let us consider this as the first x first equation now differentiating it n minus 1 times we have another n minus 1 set of equations k1 f1 prime x k2 f2 prime of x plus etc plus kn f n prime of x equal to 0 etc etc k1 f n minus 1 x plus k2 f n minus 1 x plus etc plus k n f n minus f n n minus 1 x is equal to 0 so we have a system of n homogeneous equations in n unknowns k1 k2 etc kn so uh, if you write in the matrix form the coefficients are the coefficient matrix is f1 f2 etc fn fn prime f2 prime etc fn prime etc fn n minus 1 f2 n minus 1 etc fn n minus 1 and uh, 
the determinant of this is nothing but the Ronskian of the functions, which is not equal, not identically equal to zero. That means the uh, given system of equations has only the trivial solution. Therefore, all the unknowns k1, k2, etc., kn are zeros. Therefore, the functions are linearly independent. Now, uh, let us illustrate with certain examples. So, given f1 equal to x, f2 equal to sin x. Whether these are linearly independent, c infinity minus x infinity, infinity, infinity. Okay, since there are two functions, we have to choose, the we have to consider uh, the derivatives of all orders up to 2 minus 1. So, if there are n functions, we have to consider all n minus 1 order derivatives. So, uh, the Ronskian is f1, f2, f1 prime, f2 prime. So, which gives x cos x minus sin x. So, if you can find out at least 1x for which this Ronskian is different from 0, then the vectors are linearly independent. So, when x is equal to say pi, then the Ronskian is minus pi which is different from 0. That means the Ronskian is not identically equal to 0. Therefore, the vectors are linearly independent. So, if you choose x is equal to pi by 2 also, then the Ronskian is again minus sin pi by 2. Cos pi by 2 will be 0. So, minus 1 by minus 1. Again, uh, Ronskian is different from 0. That is, it is enough to choose at least 1x in minus infinity infinity where the Ronskian is different from 0. Otherwise, we can observe that uh, the function will be identically equal to 0. That means the determinant itself will be equal to 0. Now, the second f1 equal to e raised to x, f2 equal to e raised to 2x, f3 equal to e raised to 3x. So, there are three functions. So, we have to consider derivatives of all orders up to 3 minus 1. That is up to second order derivatives. The Ronskian is f1, f2, f3, f1 prime, f2 prime, f3 prime, f1 double prime, f2 double prime, f3 double prime. So, you will get it as 2 e raised to 6x. And uh, when x is equal to, and we know that this e raised to 6x is never 0. So, at least when x is equal to 0, uh, w equal to 2, which is different from 0. Therefore, the Ronskian is not identically equal to 0 and hence the vectors are linearly independent.